Hey guys, I'm Jorge Febrero from Madrid, Spain, and I want to show you a couple of tricks I use sometimes that can be helpful if you want to use the face map mask box, mostly for relighting but for many other things also. I'm using this clip that you can download from the Autodesk carrier, and I'll leave you the setup somewhere if you want to have a look. So, first thing uh, we sometimes find is that face maps is very promising, but we can't really use it in production yet. The image is shaking and flickering, we have holes here and there, so we usually discard it and, and try other ways. But there are some things we can do, if we have the time, to get a nice normal map that we can actually use. The first one is trying to help the machine to, to zoom to the limits of the face, so the AI understands better what we're asking for. Here, uh, this second resize is inverting the first one uh, using an expression, so we can see in context what's happening. This is what you get at, at first. This is what we get, what you get if you if you use this zoomed image. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we can get a, a a better resolution normal map. Of course, the closer we go, the better, always with a limit. Now uh, we have the um, the same process here and here, but this one is happening in in video color space and this one in stand linear. As you can see, the the, the stand linear looks uh, like a, it can feel a bit more. So this is the one we are using now, and we have a, now a better resolution normal map, but we still have the the flickers, the shakies, and and the holes. So we're, go we're going to choose a frame to work on. Here in this action I imported a, a sphere and moved it to the corner and I activated uh, the mat and the normal self-portrait okay, in order to compete over our normal map. So in a paint we can, by picking in the sphere, we can like complete uh, the rest of the areas we have we are missing yet etc okay here i i went for a really fast paint uh hoping that this would be enough and of course after you're done you can get rid of the sphere and just go home next step is uh, just an easy motion vector track so now uh, we have a nice a nice starting point okay then, uh, depending on the shot, the old map structure can give us the hairs or maybe some details that we would never want to paint. And with a fast difference mat, with our color, we can get a mat and we can compete over our normal map. So we would be more or less like here. 90% of the times, uh, we're going to use this for the lighting. Okay. Here uh, in this action node, uh, we have uh, just a surface with our normal map uh, applied, uh, a shader and, and my own lights set up. Okay. In this case, as I went for a really fast overlay comb, I'm not caring too much about the high values. I only worrying about uh, having 0 0.5 as my starting point. Uh, so uh, here you can see it's a, a really um, a fast example of, of the lighting and maybe now we can help it with maybe a, a light source or maybe a, a lens flare and of course using light passes and color corrections in this case maybe to add this red indirect light so this more or less is something that we can get. But the point is that with this normal map, um, you can get some other things. Not, not, it's not only about the, the lighting. Here I prepared some fast examples, so you can so you can have a look. So uh, here I I have the same surface, the normals the same lights, and the shader. In this case, changing the, the shader parameters 
we can get maybe some nice looks like this. A step further, if we combine this same surface with the same normals map, in this case with an IBL and the system's PBR, maybe we can get a gold CGI mask, for example. Or maybe in this last one, I'm using a stars matchbox as an IBL. Uh, the same surface with a normal map splide. A substance, a substance PBR, in this case it's uh, gold again with a very natural purple color. And the replica node, <clears throat> in order to have a lot of, of light movement, so we can get maybe some crazy thing like this. And uh, if, um, maybe uh, that can be helpful if you want to maybe recreate like uh, projections or lasers on the face. Of course, with some other elements, you can maybe get this kind of disco effect or something like this. This is just fast examples in order for you to, to understand that using the normals map, you can get a lot of things, and it's only about relighting or adding uh, new new like intentions or something like that okay guys thank you very much and see you around if you have any doubt or any way to to make this better of course just give myself take care there.